Hi everyone, I'm Igor and this is Makini Podcast. This is our new season and we would like to start from Elena. Elena, how are you doing? Hello people, hello Igor, I'm nice, thank you. Thank you so much that you agreed to participate in our podcast, in our new episode. So my first question for you, share your story of yourself. Okay, uh, hello, I'm Elena and I'm from Plovdiv. I live here and I grew up here. I studied in a professional high school and now I'm at Smukinia. As you said, you were born and raised in Plovdiv. Can you tell us a little about life in this city? This city, when I was uh, a little kid, when I was younger, it was more um, calmer, it was more slower. Um, we didn't have that much uh, people here. But now I notice that new people come, more, more people come, and the city starts to look more like Sofia sometimes, but <laughs> not really. It's more busier, it's more noisy now than than I remember from my childhood, but it's still positive. <laughs> Do you like these changes? Yeah, it's good to have changes, because it's something, it's giving you something to do, to think with your brain, or just change you. When the city is changing, you are changing, and it's it's good to have this, yes. Yeah, because uh, when you have a lot of people, you can to meet new people, learn something new. I think for Plovdiv, it's a lot of foreigners. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, also, I would like to ask you about life of young people here. How is it for young people? I think it depends on the, uh, on the people. Uh, you can be young and go clubbing and partying all night, all day if you want, after party, woohoo. But also, you can be young and you can stay at home, you can study, you can do nothing, you can work. So it's different for every young people, I think, even in Plovdiv, it doesn't matter, everywhere. So it depends. Young people do most of the time what they want and other young people do what they are told to do. Many people just study, many people who go to party or... Usually, yeah, usually uh, I notice that um, now young people do everything at once. <laughs> I don't know how, congratulations. Uh, but yeah, they study, they party, they work. Even some of them work two jobs, two times. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, I don't know how they do it. It's so complicated for me. But yes, young people are full of energy sometimes. Sometimes they don't even have the energy, but they still do everything. <laughs> so young people are amazing sometimes. <laughs> But I think young people in Plovdiv are very motivated. They have in Plovdiv a lot of opportunities, what we can do here. Yes, that's why they always do something. They most of the time don't stop at one place. They are always moving. When you said moving, they move from Plovdiv, from different countries, or they just change cities? All of the things move in the city, move out of the, out of the city, then come back or they decide to leave forever. But I think now people come to Plovdiv to move around here. But how do you think why young people move from Plovdiv but foreigners come to Plovdiv? Uh, I think it's um, maybe something from this uh, European city of 2019. We became more popular to foreigners. We started to use more English in our speech, I think. That's what I noticed. And I just started to see more foreigners then. What would you like to change? Or what are you missing in Plovdiv? <laughs> Probably uh, what I miss... I would like to see a cat cafe. A cat cafe I would like to see in here. Because I know there is in Sofia and in Varna. I know it's also a cat cafe. And I want here in Plovdiv. Come on. <laughs> but uh, I'm not familiar with this cat cafe. Could you explain a bit more about this? It's a cafe like a... a I don't know. Sometimes they, they have books to read. Sometimes it's... Um, you can go to work with your laptop. 
and uh, you can just go and play with cats. Uh-huh. It's a cafe with uh, uh, cats from the street. They mm-hmm. take uh, cats from the street and uh, give them home. Okay. And you go there to drink a coffee or what so they offer and you can also work or just chill with the cats or read a book with a cat. I would like to have this here. <laughs> yeah, I have met once in Novosibirsk this cafe, but I think it's very cool when you can to spend time with animals, cats or dogs. Yes. In our case, it was cats and dogs. So yes. It's nice, but uh, what are you missing in Plovdiv? <laughs> or you don't missing anything? It's a cat cafe for me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So next. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Uh, as I know, you graduated last year. What are you doing now? You already mentioned that you are working in Smakinia, but could you explain more? What exactly? Yes, I am like an intern here. I help with what I can. I do translations. I do Smakinia Club. Uh, we have different topics of Smakinia Club. Uh, I've had two. Uh, just for now, that were more like uh, pay, uh, paint emotions or intuition or something like that, more um, spiritual <laughs> for now. But yes, I would like to continue this Mokina Corps. And uh, I'm trying to learn uh, some more serious stuff to do, but for now, I'm more easygoing. <laughs> and I know that you will travel for some youth exchanges. Yeah, I have two youth exchanges this summer. Uh, one in June and the next one is July. What uh, countries? In June I'm going to Greece, uh, in Hopeland, and July I'm in Austria. So Smakinia, it's your sending organization? Yes, that's right. What do you expect from these youth exchanges? New things. I just expect something that they offer me something new that I've never seen um, just to how to interact with people because I know that uh, there are going to be a lot of different people from different countries uh, something like 30 people <laughs> and that's a lot of uh, people for me so for sure that's something new for me <laughs> is it your first time? It's my first, yeah, the first time going to two projects. It's a big deal for me, yes. So you're very excited. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool because I think it's a very useful thing, youth exchange or training course, when you can go learn something, uh, learn new methods or uh, meet people, new yes. culture, and you can share your experience with the rest of people. Uh, my question also related to Smakinia. What has Smakinia given you as organization? Uh, Smakinia gave me um, a safe space, safe space to grow, a safe space just to be happy. (laughs) And it learned me uh, how to talk with people, how to meet with people, how to write emails to people. I'm becoming more of an extrovert, I think, now. I hope. But yeah, I'm more outgoing because of Smukinia, because of this Smukinia Pops, because I had to talk uh, in front of people. And I, I, I had this fear of talking in front of a lot of people. And now it's getting better. So yeah, Smukinia gave me this opportunity. And also the youth exchange is also Smukinia, because I saw this opportunity because of Smukinia. How do you think your experience at Smakini will help you in the future? It will help me because now I have more like an open mind to people, to situations, especially situations, because I've had a um, non-formal um, education style here, which helped me a lot on the way that I see and think and do stuff. And it looks so easy <laughs> sometimes. To do it. And they tell you just stop thinking. <laughs> just do it. And yeah, just do it. And I it was hard for me because I always overthink. And now now I can overthink, now I can uh, stop thinking and just start doing it. 
that's also something Smokinia gave me. It's very interesting because you becoming more confident. Yes, yes, yes. So I, I think this experience will help you in your future because now you are more open mind, more confident, more talkative. Yes, yes. And now you have a lot of people from Smokinia Club. Yes. As I know also, you like to cook. Tell us why these particular activities. Okay, the professional high school I graduated, it was um, a cook, um, a cooking high school. And I chose this school because since when I was a little kid, as since I remember this life, I always uh, really like to do like um, cake uh, decoration stuff. I always like to watch this uh, series on the TV with uh, some uh, chef pastries that do amazing stuff. And I was always watching and I was like, oh, I want to be this. I want to do this. <laughs> and I don't know, it's it's like love from first sight. <laughs> Just like that. And you decided to start to do it? Yes, I decided to start um, to to go to my mom and my grandma and say, can I help in the kitchen and something like that. And then I saw that I like it and it's really funny sometimes to cook because you get messy and I like to get messy with hands. And yes, I like cooking. Do you have some ideas how you can use your hobby, let's say, or your experience with cooking? How can I use it? Yeah. Find a job, or open your restaurant or, or bakery. I would like to do something like Smokinia Club, but um, with cooking. More hours, um, not just one or hour and a half. For example, three, three hours or four hours of cooking. I would like to do this now that I have this experience with cooking, yes. We would be like workshop. Yeah, like workshop, yes, yes. Do you have a recipe which you, you, you can teach us? Yeah, I'm thinking of Italian mm. food, yes. Do you like Italian food? Oh yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only Italian or you have some Oh, different... everything, I, I like everything. Just maybe really spicy food, I like it, but uh, my stomach doesn't like the spicy thing. But yeah, I usually think that I don't have food that I don't like. I also don't like uh, spicy food. <laughs> it's just making my stomach ache. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. Yeah. And you know, usually when people do something uh, with their hand or, or create something, they feel some different feelings. What do you feel when you are cooking? Oh my god. That's an amazing question. Yeah, I feel a lot of things. Uh, maybe the first thing that I feel when I start touching food, when I cook, it's uh, nostalgia. It's because of my childhood. Uh, just uh, needing the doll. It's so much nostalgia for me. It's like a, a warm hug, a warm memory. It's uh, love. Sometimes it's sad because, <laughs> you know, nostalgia can be both-sided <laughs> with happiness and sadness. But, yeah, a lot of emotions, yes, yes. Do you think, is it help you to express your emotions or how it's for you? Yes, definitely express my emotions, uh, even if I don't say... Uh, if I, I, if it, I cook something for someone and if I didn't even mention the emotions that I had, I already put these emotions somehow in the food, in the process of making the food, and I can give these emotions to someone else, and they can see if they have something familiar when they taste the food. It's it's a magic process. It's just a process of magic. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting because you put part of you, let's say, yes. for food. It's interesting. How often do you cook for your family? Oh, it depends. It depends because <laughs> at home we have uh, different um, like diets, I would say. My sister is uh, vegetarian. My mom is um, she's not vegetarian. She's just healthy, um, trying to eat, just trying to eat healthy. And sometimes it's um, really hard for me to 
find recipes that can go for my sister, my mom, and for me. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it's happening. Somehow it's happening, but not really often as I want to. So I don't know, like a number, I cannot say, but it's not that often. I I would like to. You would like to do it more often? Yes, yes. So we have to open your bakery or your <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> okay. You you will be young entrepreneurship. Okay. <laughs> it would be cool. I will visit your restaurant. Thank you. So Elena, thank you so much for your participation Me in too, our thank you. new episode in our podcast. It was interesting. And last question: Do you have say something for young people in Plovdiv or in general? Maybe some advices. I would say because I, I've talked about it so much with cooking and emotions. Find something for you that gives you the whole package of emotions that cooking gives for me. That's it. Thank you so much. <laughs>